All right, guys. So this is basically going to be an install, simple uh, DO2 cage fighter air intake. I haven't seen any on YouTube yet, so I'm just going to kind of throw it together real quick. I'm not going to talk much. But this is what you got the box basically. So you got your, it's like a bracket four with bolts, and then here's your filter with the cage. It looks like. So I'll get into taping apart and I'll show you the tools you're going to need. This is optional. I just use it so it, I can break them free and get them out quicker. But you'll need a, uh, a ratchet, a 15 millimeter, an 11 millimeter, some type of driver for a uh, Allen keys or uh, Torx, or you can just use the actual uh, like Allens themselves. And then you're going to need a 3 16 Allen key, a 5 30 seconds Allen key, and then a T25 Torx. And that's the only tools you're going to need to pull this okay, off. Okay, so a uh, 3 16 Allen. Comes right out. And then you can pull your cover off. Might be a two-hand job. Okay, then take your T25, loosen these three bolts up here, here, and here. Put the camera down this just so I don't strip these out, just so I can break them free first. And uh, once you remove those three, loosen those three bolts, your whole filter assembly kind of pulls off. All right, next step is a uh, 15 millimeter. And pull it out and then uh, don't hit the shield like I did, but and then just pull these two bolts out and it'll pop right out. All right, so got those two out. Uh, as you can see, they're gonna be kind of a little grimy. A little grimy, that's, I believe it's your oil blow by holes there. So there's gonna be a bunch of oil and grime and crap in there. So after that's out, it should pop right off like this. And there, gasket on there. Again, save it, try not to break it. And at this point, well, then we start working in the new so Here's kit. all your parts, pretty simple. Um, looks like that one bracket I still have to pull off and replace it with this bracket right here, which is this one. So I will get back to the other side. All right, pull this one. And that's gonna be locked in, so a little hard to get out, but it comes out. So your first step is just uh, Take like a rag or something and clean out both these holes, the all like junk off of it. And then uh, once we get both those clean, we will throw the new bracket up, which is this, with the gasket on the back. And then you hold it in place with both the new uh, breather screws so we don't have to clean these old ones up. I clean up both the holes, do the washers or the rubber gasket on the back of the bolts. I'm just going to put a little bit of Loctite on, on uh, both of them. Just so you know, help the vibration coming out. And then it will lightly thread them in, don't tighten them down all the way. So we got them both kind of loosely and they're still hand loose. I uh, don't have the gasket in yet, but that's your that's your next step to get these in. So when you're tightening these down, you wanna make sure that this gasket doesn't get pinched in there. So just kind of go nice and slow and keep moving this a little bit to make sure that you're not pinching it underneath or above. You want it to be just inside the hole. Same on both sides. Leave it still a little loose for now, but this is kind of how you want to mock mount it up. So next up, uh, you're gonna want to tighten these down to 120 inch pounds, but make sure you have this piece in there with this hole in the correct orientation up here, and don't throw your nice, your nice new gasket. So it'll go in just like so. Make sure everything's kind of lined up just like that. Then get your torque wrench and you want to do 120 inch pounds. Those are tied down. Uh, your next step is going to be take both of your breather tubes. And I'm assuming they go in like this. So this looks like the right hand side to me. Probably just work them through. Just gonna kind of feed it through. Probably the best you can. I guess there's no actual correct way to do it. But it's gonna pop out through here it seems and attach and push on. So there's a one kind of pulled through. And then you'll just take this end, push it onto there. I think that's all it's going to do for a push. Just make sure when you route, you're not really hitting your uh, throttle cable. It shouldn't, but just be safe, just in case. You don't really want rubber and metal rubbing on each other. So we'll do the same thing on the other side. And the left side is about the same setup. We don't have as much to watch out for. So that's to install the breather tubes. And like I said, they just push on, so nothing crazy push them on push them off or push on pull off and then sit for now then we'll go get the uh the next step when you get the venturi off uh you want to put this plate on first and the venturi bolt to that you got to run those two uh lines through these holes first your uh breathers so it'll go up like that basically 
Push out their backing plate, goes on, pull those through, so you get your head play that. And then face the same thing I showed you before, bolt of venturi. Make sure that all your holes are lined up for that vent though. Alright, and then once the venturi is on, ooh, that's really close, sorry. Once the venturi is on, same thing, put these down, but you want to go to, once they're tight, you want to do uh, 55 inch pounds. So, I think 55 to 60, they're saying. So, if you have a different type, you can Google the specs of, or the, what equals foot pounds and newton meters, I guess, but. So, we'll get, I'll get this tight and then we'll go on to bolting on the uh, actual air filter and bracket, or cage fire bracket. So your next step is they're just going to be, uh, take the four screws I gave you, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Make sure these are aimed inside the Venturi and kind of double check they don't have any kinks just from you pulling through everything. And also I noticed from me putting in these screws, a little bit of aluminum seemed to uh, fall into our intake. So I'm going to take a rag and clean that out again too before we put the air filter on just so it's, you know, nothing going flying into the motor it shouldn't be. All right, and then once you get those four screws tightened down, uh, make sure they're fairly tight. The only issue I had was, I might have tightened this one, it tried to like kink out. I mean, I don't know if you can really tell, but it's big gap there and it's kind of pushed in over there, but 